Good morning students and welcome to another virtual English class. In these days we are using so much technology, so today we are going to learn how to write an email. Do you like emails? Let's talk about it. Okay, we are continue. We are going to learn how to write an email. Okay, it's important first, make a revision of the previous vocabulary. Okay, from previous classes. Repeat please, get up. Play with friends, get dressed, have breakfast, go to school, have dinner, brush my teeth, take classes, take a shower, have lunch, do my homework, and go to bed. Okay? In the main, we are going to use the simple present. What it means the simple present? The simple form. Okay? The verbs need to have in simple form. For example, I play football on Saturday. Okay? The verb is in simple form. Or we can say in this quarantine, I take virtual classes on Monday morning. Okay? Take, play, simple form. And the new vocabulary for this class are some fun activities. Maybe some of these activities we are doing at home. Okay? The first is, yes, listen to music, yes, maybe we play at home these games, play board games, sometimes maybe watch TV, or maybe watch a DVD, or watch a movie, okay, and obviously, you know, we can play chess in this quarantine, or do puzzles, okay, do a puzzle, don't forget, and obviously, some of you maybe are bored. Okay, this is the new vocabulary for this class. So let's repeat. Listen to music, play board games, watch TV, watch a DVD, play chess, do a puzzle, and board. Also, in the email, it's important when we write our sentence, for example, I play board games in the afternoon with my parents. Then I play chess. As you see here, we use a connector. A connector. In your email, you are going to write many sentences. Many sentences. And you need to use connectors to join two ideas. Okay? We have some connectors, for example, them, after, or next. Okay, now let's talk about the email, the parts of the email, and the structure. Okay, first, we need to complete two. Okay, two. And in this part, you are going to complete the name of your friend. Who are you going to tell this email? Okay, who are you going to send this message? Then, we are going to complete the subject. The subject is, what are you going to talk about, okay? In this case, my day, my routine, okay? Then, we start writing the email. First, we need to start the email greetings. Say hi, hello, or dear. For example, hi. Okay, this is important. Remember, when we start with the greetings. And when we finish, we need to use bye for now, see you soon, for love, and at the end, write your name. Okay? Your name. For example, bye for now, Jim. Okay? Now, and in the middle, in the middle, we are going to talk about the content. Okay? The content. For example, we start, my name is Jim Wilson. I go to Windsor Primary School and I am in year 5, okay, it's a boy. I always get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I have breakfast with my family. Then, the connector, I take the bus to school. After school, another connector, after, after school, I do my homework. I sometimes play tennis too. I'm very good at tennis. I always have a shower and brush my teeth before I go to bed. As you can see here, this is 
that I made. Okay? First, complete two, the subject, then the greetings, the content, then the fair word. Okay? Say bye. I give you one idea. When you describe your activities, you can use this chart. Fears talk about the activities you do in the morning. Then, what activities you do in the afternoon. And finally, talk about the activities you do at night. Okay? And in each sentence, don't forget, use the connectors. Use the connectors. And you can also use always, sometime, and never. Okay? These are the parts of the email that you have to consider in your writing. Okay, now we have another example of an email. Let's see. We we'll start with a greeting. Hi, Mateo. My name is Ruben. Then with a the content. Okay? On Saturday in the morning, I always get up early at 6 o'clock. Then, I sometimes go to school and I play tennis. I am good at playing tennis. In the afternoon, I always go shopping with my clients. Next, we sometimes go to the cinema. I never do my homework on Saturday. See you soon, Ruben. As you can see, here in this example, we are using what activities you do in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. We are using the connectors. Then, next. And to finish, we say, see you soon. Okay? This is the, the structure of our email. Now, it's your turn. And now, you can share your email with your friends and tell them your activities during this quarantine. Okay? Goodbye.